During your morning commute or daily errands, you probably don't think about it. But State Highway Patrolman Sonny Collins says daytime is slowly becoming prime time for drunk drivers. Previously, uh, DUIs were found almost exclusively on the weekends at night. Now we're having a DUI arrest any time of the day, any day of week. He says a majority of offenders drink all night at bars and restaurants, sleep, and then wake up not realizing they're still intoxicated. Because they think they've had a an hour or two of sleep in there that, that they're back back to zero, they're back good. When in fact that impairment is still there, it takes hours to get uh, all that alcohol out of your system. But Rehab Center Director John Coffin says bar serving drinks to people at all hours of the night isn't entirely to blame. The simple explanation is that uh, people are not working. And when people are not working, they don't have a lot to do, which means they're going to be drinking more and it's going to be uh, more common to see them drinking at hours that we wouldn't ordinarily see them drinking. Coffin's Rehab Center Shoreline Behavioral has seen the number of DUI cases spike in the past three years. And he says until the economy changes, he expects that trend to continue. Plenty of research that says that um, you go without a job for uh, an appreciable amount of time, especially if you're going out on a bunch of interviews and you're not getting hired, um, it's not uncommon for people to start to feel kind of worthless and that can create all of these other symptoms. Symptoms that mean there's really no safe time to be on the road when it comes to drunk drivers. In Horry County, Ryan Nockhan, News Channel 15.